Thank you for that, Kim. Well, if you're planning to go to church this morning, coronavirus might get in the way of your plans. Yes, yeah, some churches are practicing social distancing and not letting people hold hands. Maria is live at Redemption Church in Tempe to talk about how they are dealing with the coronavirus. Good morning. Good morning. So many different churches doing uh, different things to really uh, be precautious when it comes to the coronavirus. Here at Redemption Church in Tempe off Price and Southern, they have this sign right on their front door telling people that they are not going to have service today in the Phoenix and Tucson areas. They will be having service up in Flagstaff, but I want you to come in this way. They've actually opened the doors for us this morning. Uh, we expected to see 500 people or so come for this 9 a.m. mass, but that's not going to be happening anymore because they have canceled it because of the coronavirus. So let's come on this way. Uh, we're going to talk to uh, Neil, who is the pastor of operations here. Why did you guys decide to do this? Cancel um, services, cancel worship services. Um, how did you get to that decision? We uh, started by listening to a web broadcast by the uh, Arizona Department of Health uh, at uh, 10 o'clock on Friday. And then we took some time and discussed amongst the leaders as to what may be the best decision for this. And because of the fact that we came to recognize that making uh, decisions in this time that make a real difference always happen sooner than you think. So even though it felt premature, we felt like we needed to make a decision. Secondly, one of the most important requirements of a Christian is to love our neighbor as ourselves. And we felt in this moment, loving our neighbor meant protecting the most vulnerable in our congregations. So we actually have some video of what you guys plan to put out there today. Talk to me about that message yeah. and, and what people are looking at on their screen right now. Sure. We have uh, our pastor, a founding pastor for East Valley Bible Church, Tom Schrader, preached a message back in 2008, actually, that said, worry about nothing and pray about everything. And this message is foundationally about a uh, passage from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. It says, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God, and the peace of God will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So you'll be sharing that with all of your congregations because you have nine of them. That's correct. And so you have one more thing that you're doing that's never been done before with your right, church. Right, right. We're doing a live stream actually of uh, here at Tempe of two of our pastors discussing the situation, talking about why we came to this decision and how we can approach it without fear, how to uh, not be anxious really about anything. Um, you know, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 says, God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. So and that's people, what we want our people to have. Yep, and we're taking a look at the set right here. Again, at 9 a.m., that live stream is going to start of the pastors talking and having that conversation. So thank you so much for sharing what your church is doing and, and taking those precautions. Uh, we know that a lot of churches, again, around the valley are doing different things. Jason Berry had a report earlier this week talking about how some people won't be taking communion or doing the drinking the wine. I checked in with the Catholic Church, their website. They are still having Mass today, but they are going to be offering a live stream service Service so people people can still worship on this Sunday. So before you get in the shower, before you get ready to head out the door to go to church, good idea to really check your church's website, their social media pages to see if it's even happening today or if they're doing something a little bit different uh, to worship. Back to you. Yeah, thank you for that, Maria. And what's interesting, I know in some of the Catholic masses, they're also suspending in different churches that moment when they say, you know, offering the sign of peace mm -hmm. and then shaking of the hands to avoid the spread of coronavirus. So just one more thing. Yeah, and like she mentioned, just good to check on your church's yeah. website, maybe depending on where you go to church, if you do have plans uh, to see if they're doing anything differently Yeah, today. and I think it's 